What is up guys and welcome back to another raid Shadow Legends video with me Real Deal. So um, it's Friday, it's St. Patrick's Day and there's a special event going on and big shout out to anyone who is Irish or has any Irish blood who's gone out celebrating today. Hope you guys have a great time, don't drink too much or regret it tomorrow. Um, but yeah so this is the special event that's going on, the Path of the Clover. Uh, it's going to be over sort of four days. Um, I would say though, the rewards towards the bottom, I wouldn't really push for them if I was free to play early to mid game. Um, but if you're sort of end game and you've got the resources, I mean, I am struggling at the moment myself. Um, but if you've got the resources, I would definitely recommend going for the Eternal Soul Stone. Um, so the way that I'm going to be going for it is we're going to be taking the gems hugging the right hand side down to the ancient shard then we're going to get this uh, epic skill tome and then we're going to go for the eternal soul stone now Polarium really rate these uh, eternal soul stones and they are hard to come by let me tell you um, it's taken me six months to get three so you get one sort of every two months and every time you can get them they are a real struggle to get so it just depends do you value your eternal soul stone over the legendary book um, because those are the things that I'd be going for the most would be the legendary books first and then the eternal soul stone. It just depends what you value more. So, um, and the void shard would probably be the bottom of my list and the XP boost. I don't even know why it's there. Uh, let's just have a quick look at my account. I've got 21 weeks of XP boost as free to play. So, you know, it's, they're not, they're, you know, it's just a joke that's even there. I don't know why it's there, to be honest. So the reason I'm going to be hugging the right-hand side is that I, I probably, um, well, basically, so then I can get the Immortal Soul Stone, but also get this other legendary, uh, get the legendary skill tome as well. So that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go Ancient down into the Eternal Soul Stone and then Immortal Soul Stone into the legendary tome. So I definitely feel like I can do it. Um, so far, I've put about 3,000 energy no, no, probably about 2,500 energy, and I've almost reached 20k points. So another, you know, and I've not used any um, brews or anything like that. Um, all I've done is ranked up champions, ranked up food, and with another 2,500, I'll get 40,000. So that should easily get me to this Eternal Soul Stone. And then, you know, I've got a few champions that I want a six star, and doing that should easily push me into like. Over three, over three, I should be able to do this within three days, no problem. And then I can push in and get that legendary skill tome. I'm just looking at the other rewards. I mean, I do like care swords. They're not the best. I mean, because they are random, but they can't. Basically, though, if you put it into perspective, you know, you get a six star savage um, weapon. And then what you do is it's got terrible stats on it. You re-roll it. And if it gets you know, speed, crit rate, crit damage, that is amazing. And then you roll it up. I know some people like to re like roll up their gear. And if it's got like triple roll in accuracy or something, then they'll re-roll it and hopefully they'll get triple crit rate, triple speed, triple crit damage, something like that. I'm not a fan of doing it that way. Um, but, you know, if you think you do 100 runs and you get one piece of savage gear and it's a weapon, then you know, and then you re-roll it and you get good stats on it, then that's worth it. You know, that's basically, this is almost the equivalent of doing 200 runs. Uh, Eternal Soul Coin, not that great. Um, and yeah, Epic Chaos Or is obviously just a weaker version of the Legendary Or. Yeah, obviously the things that are most important on here are the Eternal Soul Stone and the Legendary Books. And everything on the way here is not really that valuable. What I would be doing is these are sort of the scraps. So basically, if you've gotten what you're after, which is the Eternal Soul Stone or the Legendary Books, then, you know, and the event finishes and you've got anything left over, you might pick up the gems or the coins or the silver or the anniversary points. It's just completely up to you. So, um, yeah, that's my advice for going for this. Like I said, though, if you're free to play and you're sort of mid to early game, I'll definitely be skipping this event. And same for other champion tournaments. 
Um, I am low on resources as well. So after I've done this, I am probably going to have to skip the next champion training sort of event. Um, just because I've just I'm gonna be putting all my resources just to get this legendary book. So yeah. But anyway, that is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.